All right. I just wanted to quickly show you my habit tracker, which is called habitheat.com. It's like my dream habit tracker and it uses a heat map to visualize your data, just like the heat map on GitHub, which I got inspired by. And as you can see, here's my meditation habit and it looks really nice. You can see your whole year in a quick overview. And I just wanted to quickly show you a little demo of this, of this tracker. So let's create a new habit. We have three different types, checkbox, numbers and options. So let's go with checkbox and track the habit of reading. So we create the heat map and you can just track if you have done the habit or you didn't. So it's just binary done or not done. It's for really easy stuff, you know, um, reading, for example, or drinking water or going out for a walk. So just binary stuff. I did it. I didn't do it. And you can also write your thoughts. So let's say you started the book. Um, I don't know, started book. And there you have it. You can see your journal entry. What I think is more interesting is the number seat map because you get to see some more insights into your data. So let's say you also want to track your reading habit, but this time you want to track your pages read. So you create the heat map and then you can just track, you know, on the on January 1st, I've read five pages and here you read 10 pages and then you read 15 pages and then five pages again. And then you read 50 pages it was a really good day. And you can see the colors change based on the amount you entered. So the lower the, so the lower the value is, the lighter the color is. So five pages is a really light green and 50 pages is a darker green. And you can also just press here on this button, tap to complete and write your number, complete today. And you always see, you know, have I done this habit today already or haven't? And also your streak increases. But let's continue with the third tracking type, which is options. And let's say you want to track your mood. And you would say, you know, today uh, option one is good. So a good mood. Option two is neutral. Let's say yellow. And option three is bad, which would be red. You create the heat map and then you have three options to pick from. So let's say January 8th, you had a really good day. So you write good. Then you had a neutral day and a bad day. And that way you can track your mood if you really want to, or I don't know what you could track your workouts. I used to track like um, workout day, rest day or fail day, which is also nice. And there are only three options available now, so you can only create three, but I really want to add multiple options so you can add as many as you want if you really need to. Also, we have some statistics. I just showed you earlier that we track the streak. It's nicer to see it here. So you can see I have a streak of one for meditation because I meditate today, but forgot to, to meditate on, on, on the weekend. You can see the longest streak of the whole year, which is 15. And you can see how many days out of this year I meditated, which is 164. You can see the total minutes and the average minutes per day, which I think is really interesting, gives you a good insight. Some more statistics that I really want to add are, um, you know, weekdays, like how often have you meditated on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because as you can see here Sunday, I rarely meditate on weekends so Sunday or Saturday mostly Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, as you can see. And I just really want to have that insight. So that's one of the next things I want to add more statistics. Also, I want to add more graphs and diagrams and all of that stuff. So you have even more visualization, not only the heat map. And you can also change between the layouts. So let's say you don't like this yearly overview, you can switch to the monthly one and you have a quick overview of all your habits and the current month. So let's just delete these ones because we don't need them anymore. And here you have the nice overview of my, you know, favorite um, habits you could say. And you have also the weekly view, which looks like this. I think it looks absolutely horrendous. So um, this is something I really want to add in the next devlog. Oh yeah, by the way, I want to start uploading devlogs. So um, this will be the first, the first thing I want to do. And I already did a little redesign in Figma. 
as you can see this is the weekly view it looks way better than 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 this thing there's just too many too many things these reordering buttons this button it just looks ugly and this one or this one is, is way nicer and cleaner and you have a nice overview not so much um, different kind of UI elements and I added this little statistics link button which you can press and then it will expand the statistics for this week and the option and reordering buttons are also there so um, I think that's way way better so you just press on it and it opens up way cleaner and yeah I also have these reordering buttons so let's say you really want to have this one at the top you could just press this button and it will automatically go to the top and I really like this at the top because it just looks the nicest in my opinion you can also go back to the past with these buttons so this is my data from 2023 I haven't actually um, converted all my data to, to 2023 but this is what it looks like and in the month view you can also you know do all the all the months so January 2024 was actually like a really good month I meditated 460 minutes in total how many hours is that that's like 460 7.6 hours in January 2024 I just sat there for seven hours crazy anyway um and if you press on this thing you will go back to the current month um yeah so i guess that's it i also added a change log where you can see the state you know bug fixes improvements new features and so on uh, you can also give me feedback with this little thing here um if you have any ideas or improvements let me know with this thing or just write it in the comments but be nice please this is still in early development and yeah so as i said this is really the basics the foundation of what i want to do and now that i have like the foundation done i rec i can really add on to it so um i'm not sure how difficult this will be but you know i kind of want this to be the habit tracker in the future for everyone um not sure how i will achieve that but i really want to make it engaging and give really helpful insights into your um, habit data so this is like my little baby my dream habit tracker which i really like to use and and i'm using it every day and i actually like it so it's also not only on desktop but you can also have it on your phone oh i'm actually recording with it so i can't show you right now but it's not an app you cannot download it in the app store or anything but you you can just go to the page and add it as a shortcut to your home screen and it will act like a like a you know a native app so it's called a pwa and it has almost all the features a native app has except for some for some things which are actually kind of important like in-app notifications and background stuff but there are workarounds for that and yeah if you are interested in this thing it's free for one heat map but um, you can try it out for seven days and if you really like it you can support me by paying 2.99 euro a month or i'm not sure i think 29 euro for a whole year i think that's a okay price three euros for you know tracking your habits and you have one heat map for free but you cannot track options so only numbers and checkboxes for free you can also not customize so no fancy colors or anything but um to be honest one habit is good enough for the start i think i would have actually only tracked this one this is just for fun you know and all of the others i don't really need but um yeah so that's it thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see some devlogs and how i you know work on this whole application the next video will be about redesigning this horrendous looking weekly card and probably also the monthly card i want to you know also add the button here so you can just hide um, the stats and the buttons and reordering buttons because I think it will just look way cleaner The yearly one I actually like I, we can keep that so it's live already you can use it you can log in and and and, and track your habits and Yeah, thank you for watching Bye